Let f be a function defined on the closed interval from 0 to 7. The graph of f consisting of four line segments shown over here. Let g be the function given by g of x equals the integral from 2 to x of f of t dt. Part A says find g of 3, g prime of 3, and g double prime of 3. Find g of 3, we're going to plug in 3 for x, so we have the integral from 2 to 3 of f of t dt. So that's going to be the area under the curve of this graph from 2 to 3. So if you look at the area under the curve from 2 to 3, it's a trapezoid. So the formula for the area of a trapezoid is 1 half the height times base 1 plus base 2. So if we look at this area right here, the height is going to be the distance from 2 to 3, which is a height of 1. You have this base right here, which is a length of 4, and this base right here, which is a length of 2. So our final answer is 3. Again, g of x is the integral from 2 to x of f of t dt. Find g prime of x. We're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. These limits are in the right order, the constants on the bottom, the variables on top. So to take the derivative, we take this x and we plug it into the function. So we get that g prime of x equals f of x. Now we have that g prime of 3 equals f of 3. And if we go to the graph, f of 3 is 2. So our final answer is 2. Since g prime of x equals f of x, g double prime of x is going to be f prime. So g double prime of 3 equals f prime of 3. And according to the graph, if we go over to 3, f prime is going to be the slope of the tangent line when x is 3. So if we look at this part of the graph, the slope of the tangent line is going to be negative 2. So we get g double prime of 3 equals negative 2. Part b says find the average rate of change of g on the interval from 0 to 3. The average rate of change of g on the closed interval from 0 to 3 is going to be g of 3 minus g of 0 over 3 minus 0. We already have g of 3 from part a, so now we just need to find g of 0. So g of 0 is going to be the integral from 2 to 0 of f of t dt. These are out of order, so I'm going to flip them and bring out a negative. So now we have negative, the integral from 0 to 2 of f of t dt. So this part is going to be the area under the curve of f from 0 to 2. From 0 to 2, we have the area under the curve is going to be a triangle. The base is 2 and the height is 4. So the area of our triangle is going to be 1 half base height. And finally, we get that g of 0 is negative 4. So we end up getting that the average rate of change of g on the closed interval from 0 to 3 is 7 thirds. Part C says, for how many values of c, where c is between 0 and 3, is g prime of c equal to the average rate of change in part b? Explain your reasoning. Just a reminder, g prime of x equals f of x. So now the problem is asking for g prime of c. So I plugged in c for x, so we have g prime of c equals f of c, and we're setting that equal to 7 thirds or 2 and a third. So this means what we want to do is we want to look at the graph and we want to see where on the graph is the height equal to 7 thirds or 2 and a third. So if we look at the graph and we think of the height of 2 and a third, we have two different points where the graph is equal to a height of 2 and a third. And I wrote it out here. There are two values of c for the interval from 0 to 3 where g prime of c equals 7 thirds because the graph of f intersects the line y equals 7 thirds at two places between 0 and 3. Part d says find the x-coordinate of each point of inflection of the graph of g on the interval from 0 to 7. Justify your answer. For a point of inflection, we're going to look at that second derivative of g. So the second derivative of g equals f prime. f prime is the slope of the tangent line of this graph. So we can see that the slope of the tangent line changes from positive to negative at 2 and then also changes from negative to positive at 5. And I wrote that out, g double prime of x equals f prime of x changes from positive to negative at x equals 2, and from negative to positive at x equals 5. Therefore, x equals 2 and x equals 5 are the x-coordinates of each point inflection of the graph of g.